most smokers want to quit. Many people stop smoking and never go back. But for the majority of smokers, it's not that easy. Many people try to quit smoking a number of times before they succeed in quitting for good. With all of the good reasons to quit using tobacco, why is it so hard for so many people to do it? A big reason has to do with brain chemicals. Certain things like chocolate trigger the release of natural chemicals in the brain that make you feel good. Naturally, we feel an urge to keep doing those things. Often we can resist overdoing it, but some things are harder to resist than others. Tobacco contains a very powerful addictive drug called nicotine. When nicotine reaches the brain, it fits perfectly into a receptor that releases those feel-good chemicals. Tobacco provides the brain with very high amounts of nicotine. As a result, the brain creates even more nicotine receptors, all of them wanting to be fed with more nicotine. Those urges can be very hard to resist. When you stop using tobacco, the body experiences symptoms of withdrawal. Urges to relieve those symptoms can become especially strong, and smoking gets nicotine to the brain in less than 10 seconds. But over time, if you don't use tobacco, the urges gradually weaken. Nicotine receptors begin disappearing, and people enjoy the many benefits of being tobacco-free. The Mayo Clinic Nicotine Dependence Center is a world leader in helping people stop using tobacco. It offers outpatient treatment and a residential treatment program. Call or visit our website to find out how Mayo Clinic can help you quit smoking for good.